Hello dear students welcome back again to Chin Moe's YouTube channel so today we are here with the part 2 of endocrine system so in the previous episode I have already discussed about the basics of endocrine system and I have also discussed about the thyroid parathyroid and the pituitary gland their functions and their location so in today's episode I am going to discuss about the other three important glands like the adrenal pancreas and the gonads that is the testes and the ovaries so we are here with a brand new episode of the second part of endocrine system so let us start with today's episode without any further delay now in this lesson what are we going to learn today so what are the learning objectives first we are going to learn about adrenal glands their function and uh, what hormone it is releasing and why it is called the emergency hormone so what hormone it is releasing and why it is called the emergency hormone we will study about the second gland that is the pancreas and what are the hormones which it is releasing and where it is located and last two is testes and ovaries what are the hormones released by them and what is the exact location of these glands so these are all for today's topic so if you want to know more regarding these topic please stay tuned to my channel and you need to subscribe to my channel to know more what what lessons are upcoming and what i am teaching as i am teaching as per icsc curriculum you know so please stay tuned stay updated and subscribe to my channel to know more regarding my lessons so let us start with today's episode of this glands and hormones now first we are here with the adrenal gland so this is the gland which is secreting the emergency hormone so where is it located it is ideally located in the uh, top of each kidneys now if you see this diagram you can see these are two kidneys and this adrenal gland this uh, gland is located just above each kidneys and it has two parts that is the outer adrenal cortex so the outer part of the adrenal gland is the adrenal cortex while the inner part is the adrenal medulla so this uh, structure full is not there in your curriculum we should just know it is located above the kidneys on the top of each kidney and it is divided into two parts that is the outer cortex part and the inner adrenal medulla okay so what is the function of this gland now adrenal gland it is the adrenal cortex it secretes many hormones so adrenal cortex it's separately it is secreting many hormones that regulate the metabolism of carbohydrate protein fat and minerals whereas the adrenal medulla it is secreting two hormones that is adrenaline and noradrenaline now these hormones these are acting in coordination so these are acting in uh, coordination means uh, this helps uh, both the hormones are acting in coordination so acting with each other adrenaline and noradrenaline and adrenaline is known as emergency hormone so why this name is given to adrenaline because this hormone is preparing the body to fight against certain odd situation like your you are facing a danger so it will tell you to fight to flight or to run away from the situation so that decision making or that uh, thing is given by the hormone that is the emergency hormone so when it is secreted in your body your body will make a decision that you should run away from that uh, critical situation or that danger situation now adrenaline is released when a person is under stress and is involved in the intensive exercise to run away to fight back or that is the rushing or gushing of the adrenaline hormone in your blood now it makes the heart beat faster it makes the increase in the blood flow to the brain and it helps to cope with the stress or any kind of emergency situation so as it is helping you to deal with emergency situation so that's why it is called the emergency hormone so it is helping you to uh, deal with emergency situation so helping to deal with emergency situation right so as it is helping you to deal with emergency situation to make decisions that whether to run away or to fight back or to uh, do any other work that is why it is called emergency hormone now next comes the pancreas so what are pancreas pancreas are actually they are located behind the abdomen so this is pancreas it is located in the abdomen and behind the stomach so it is located in the abdomen behind the stomach so pancreas is both acting as an exocrine and endocrine gland so both the parts are secreting hormones differently so both the exocrine part that is the part with ducts and both the ductless part that is the endocrine part so it is also called a dual gland so as it is having both exocrine and endocrine function so as both endocrine and exocrine function is there in this gland it is called the dual gland so it, for that only it is called the dual gland is it clear now next let us come to the functions of this pancreas 
now first if you see that this is the um, this is the pancreas now here the pancreatic duct is there so the part of this part is the exocrine part so the exocrine components consist of the ducts of acini so these are the ducts and these are the ducts of acini so this is the exocrine part so this part is producing the pancreatic juice which is containing the digestive enzyme so if you have gone through the previous video which i have posted there i have already posted in detail that the uh, exocrine parts they are producing enzymes whereas the endocrine parts they are producing hormones so the exocrine parts which are producing enzymes here also in this the ducts of acini which are having um, the exocrine part of this pancreas they are producing pancreatic juice which is containing digestive enzyme is it clear now the endocrine component consists of the islets of langerhans which is secreting insulin hormone so the endocrine part that is the ductless part it is having the islets of langerhans now here you can see the pancreatic islet so this red part is the pancreatic islets which are secreting the insulin hormone so that insulin hormone is directly secreted into the uh, blood as they do not have duct so that is the ductless gland and these ducts of acini they are the exocrine part they are secreting digestive enzyme or pancreatic juice an endocrine component it is consisting of islets of langeran so please make it clear if you are having any doubt ask me questions in the comment box i i am ready for you to answer the questions so which secretes the insulin hormone now insulin again it is regulating the amount of glucose present in blood so if extra glucose is there in your body that is always converted into glycogen and stored in the liver is it clear so when the the insulin uh, is being regulated by Uh, is uh, is it is regulating the glucose content in your blood right so when the insulin amount is not sufficient enough to regulate your glucose in the blood then only you are having glucose in your urine that is we can say the diabetes mellitus uh, that is the condition and naturally the extra amount of glucose present in your body is converted to glycogen by insulin and is stored in the liver so let us move on to the next one now this is what i have told in the previous slide also in some people enough insulin is not released so then what is happening because of which the excess glucose accumulates in the blood and is excreted along with the urine and this condition is called diabetes mellitus now next comes the next organ that is the testes now testes are the male reproductive organs and they are secreting the male hormones the testosterone so where they are uh, they are um located they are located where their testes are located in the scrotum of the male reproductive system so they are can they are mainly located in the scrotum of the male reproductive so this is the scrotum and there it is located this is the testes okay so they are located in the scrotum of the male reproductive organ and testosterone what is the role of testosterone it is regulating the development of the reproductive organs and the secondary sexual characters at puberty such as deepening of the voice growth of facial hair and body hair and so on so it is helping to uh, develop the reproductive organs as well as the secondary sexual characters at puberty such as deepening of the voice growth of facial and body hair and so on now we will move on to the ovary so ovary you can see this ovary what are ovaries ovaries are the female reproductive organs so they are located they are almond shaped organs located in the both sides of the uterus okay this is the uterus of the womb it is located both side of the uterus and its opening is in the fallopian tubes so ovaries are opening in the fallopian tubes is it clear now we will move on with a, a chart so there we have already formed a gist of all this endocrine glands their location their main hormone secreted and the functions now here i have made a chart for you so it is very easy to memorize all the glands with all the location main hormone secreted and the function in gist but uh, if you are referring to the previous part you will go through the diagram uh, where i have uh, told you the exact location of each and every gland so if you are going to the pictorial representation also it will be clear so let us go to the chart now now uh, the first gland the pituitary gland located at the base of the brain main hormone secreted is the growth hormone and it regulates the uh, growth and the development and increases the rate of protein synthesis in the body 
Now next comes the thyroid gland. So what the thyroid gland is doing? It is in located in the throat region. It is producing the main hormone thyroxine and it regulates the rate of cellular metabolism and body temperature by energy production. Now next comes the pancreas. So pancreas is located in the abdomen and the main hormone secreted is insulin. It regulates the amount of glucose in the blood and conversion of glucose to glycogen. Is it clear? Now the next one is adrenal glands. So adrenal glands, so adrenal glands, it is located above the kidneys and the main hormones are adrenaline and noradrenaline. Now what is it doing? It is helping a person to cope up with emergency situation. That is why it is called we have told you earlier also it is called emergency hormone. So that is why it is called emergency hormone. And it helps the body to fight stress and uh, pain. Now what are the over next is the ovaries. Ovaries is uh, the female uh, uh, body we are seeing. It is located in the lower abdomen. It is secreting estrogen and progesterone. And it, it is uh, helping to control the reproductive and growth and development and the reproductive behavior. So um, it helps in reproduction, it helps in growth, it helps in the development of the female body and the secondary sexual characters are growing with the help of these two hormones that is estrogen and progesterone. And now comes to it uh, the testi, we come to the testes that is located in the scrotum uh, of the male reproductive system. It is secreting the testosterone and what is it doing? It is controlling the reproductive uh, uh, organs and growth and development and as well as the reproductive behavior of the male body so these are all in gist about the glands their location the hormone secreted and their functions now we are having a full body uh, structure where i have just uh, tried to discuss about the hormones and their location and obviously the functions we have already told twice now here are the major glands of the endocrine system so few we have studied this uh, in this standard and few we will be studying in the 10th standard so what we have studied in this standard we have studied about the pituitary thyroid parathyroid glands that is just behind the thyroid four dot like things are the parathyroid gland in yesterday's episode i have already taught now here are the adrenal glands above the kidneys next comes the islets of langerhans in the pancreas ovaries and testes so what we have not studied is pineal gland and hypothalamus that is not in our curriculum we will be studying in higher classes so this is the overall uh, about these hormone these glands we have studied and the the hormones secreted from these glands okay so we will just uh, uh, go through it once that where is it located in the whole body and just uh, uh, try to find out the exact location of where is uh, where it is positioned in the human body so we have already learned about the location, about the function, about the hyper and hyposecretion of the hormones which are already there. So please go through it and um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because my next episode or next video will be uh, related to this only because there is still more left that is adolescence and accompanying changes we are yet to study in this lesson. So please subscribe to my channel because you will be getting updates when I am posting the next uh, lesson. So stay tuned, stay updated with my videos. Thank you.